the current situation is um, is uh, it's it's complex. Uh, if you just look at the amount of information that is circulating in China, um, you could say that the si the situation has improved. Uh, there hasn't been so much information, especially on the internet, as of today. But at the same time, the repression from the authorities is uh, growing and uh, it's getting harder for you know, news, news providers to make information on sensitive issues such as environment corruption uh, as they are uh, under more threats and dangers of being arrested uh, or even disappeared by, by the authorities. As I said, you have two, two contradictory uh, trends. Um, in terms of uh, repression, it's getting worse. So uh, we have uh, a barometer of press freedom on our website uh, in which we list all the news providers, journalists and uh, netizens, uh, citizen journalists who are currently jailed in every country. And in China, uh, you have the, the biggest numbers. It's the first prison in the world for news providers. You have at least 30 journalists and more than 70 uh, bloggers and uh, cyber activists currently jailed in China. So the, the situation is uh, worsening. And then you also have specific situations like in Xinjiang or um, in the Tibet region where um, the, the control is even harder, uh, stronger, and, and uh, information is less available for the population and also for the outside world. It's, it's very difficult, of course, to, to spread these kind of, of uh, articles, uh, which, which are uh, not only facts, but also uh, strong opinions uh, visions of the um, uh, 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 wished society in, uh, in, in China. And um, normally uh, any reporter that would submit this kind of uh, article to, to his uh, editor-in-chief would get censored, so the, the article would, would, never, would never get out in the, in the first place. The, um, the, the chief editors of uh, the Nanfang Jomo were very courageous to um, to dare to publish uh, this kind of uh, editorial. And, um, and um, normally, other media will know where the red line is, w this line that uh, the media should not uh, cross um, to avoid, in, in order to avoid any repression from, uh, from the, the government. There has been many uh, dismissals or uh, investigations or uh, lawsuits uh, procedures, uh, judiciary procedures against heads of media who were um, daring enough to, to publish that kind of articles in, in the past and uh, uh, all of them know that uh, they, they, they should uh, refrain themselves for, uh, of publishing uh, this kind of criticism or, uh, or trying to, uh, to raise this kind of debate uh, among the population. This initiative is very important as it will raise awareness uh, for, for the whole, for the public uh, outside China and uh, people have to know that although China is a magnificent country, it is ruled by an authoritarian regime that is uh, not tolerating uh, any debate uh, and any uh, press freedom in, in, in the country. Uh, all, all it is looking for it's, is to uh, remain in control and to uh, continue to rule um, with, with its uh, uh, hard policy on the, on, on the people. It doesn't tolerate uh, criticism, uh, protest. I would surely go with the, the iPhone cover uh, because the smartphones also uh, symbolize um, a new era in terms of uh, information I in China. Uh, netizens become uh, news providers when they, they film an event, they, uh, they uh, tweet it on the, on the Chinese Twitter uh, called Weibo 
Um, and uh, having uh, on the back of a, a smartphone this uh, editorial, um, it, it's quite, a, quite amusing. It shows that um, a symbol of uh, a str struggle against censorship um, with a tool that is also a, a tool used to uh, circumvent censorship.